Hello Rhinestoners! The purpose of this tutorial on Bling It is to show you how to use the custom shape tool to create custom shape and rhinestone patterns within the Bling It software. Now, right here is my toolbar and my custom shapes are these shapes right here. If you notice, whenever there is a black little triangle on the right hand bottom of the toolbar a selection button, there is additional options. So right now we're going to be selecting one of these options which today we're going to be working with a star. Once that star is selected, you'll see my cursor with the star right next to it so you see what you're actually going to draw. Now, you do have more control over this. If you notice up here in the left hand corner, you have some additional controls versus the points of the star, um, also customized shape and sizing of the star. So right now we're going to use a five point star. If we wanted to, we could go to four, three, and even a six, seven, eight, nine point star. Now as we click and drag the star, we have complete skew and control over the star. So we can skew it, we can turn it, we can change the size and proportion of it. If you want a consistent skew, what you're going to want to do is actually create um, when you hold the click button down you're going to want to hit the control and hold the control key down as you're holding the click button down so if I control that now you see this is much more even skew now we'll center the design go ahead and use my cursor to center the design in our palette and now it's time to apply some rhinestone. Now the way your screen set up could either be showing, showing your fill or not showing your fill. Right now I'm in wireframe. So the way your screen might look is if you go to view here and select show fill, if your screen looks like this, this means it shows the complete inside of the rhinestone pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and unview that because I only wanna see the wireframe. In particular, in this case, we're gonna be using a outline rhinestone pattern versus a fill pattern. So that helps me see what I'm doing a little bit easier. Kind of the x-ray vision view, if you will. So I'm gonna unselect show fill. Now we're gonna apply rhinestone. So as long as it's selected, which is selected right now with my cursor and pointer tool, up here we have additional menus. If you hover your mouse over these menus, it'll tell you what it's going to do. Now we're gonna to wanna to do a rhinestone fill. So once we select this, it's gonna bring a different menu up to the left um, hand top of your screen. Now if you notice, there's two types of patterns you can fill with rhinestones. There's an outline pattern and there's a fill pattern. The fill pattern will put rhinestones on the inside of the design. The outline pattern will put rhinestones on the edge of the design. Now most designs are gonna use an outline pattern. For a fill pattern, it's gonna be a little bit more complex and it's also gonna use more rhinestones. So most of the time you're gonna be using outline and for this tutorial we're gonna be using outline. We're gonna be doing an additional tutorial on how to use those fill patterns. So let's go ahead and select elements. Once our rhinestone um, pattern is selected, which we're gonna be using an outline, we're gonna select the elements. And this is where we're gonna pull up an additional menu that's gonna let us select the color and the shape uh, or size of the rhinestone. Now, the Skorsky rhinestone is the most popular industry brand rhinestone. You're probably not gonna be using these rhinestones because these are extremely expensive. So we're gonna be using a high grade aftermarket rhinestone that's just as good, but a lot less expensive. But the sizes are the same. So if you notice SS5, SS6, goes all the way down to SS48. Now these sizes are consistent and they're measured by diameter. So the most popular rhinestone size is SS10. If I select that, I can also select my color. Now the only real purpose for color is to create mock-ups for your customers. As far as the color on the screen goes, it's really just up to preference. So if you wanna see an approximate color what the rhinestones could look like, you could select color. Now right here I'm gonna use, let's say, a pink color, fuchsia. SS10 Fuchsia, and then I'm gonna select Add. That's going to add that. Now in an advanced tutorial, we're gonna show you how to add different sizes and shapes to create different color of rhinestones, so multiple color rhinestones using different shapes. Once we select Add, you can now see the rhinestones applied to the edge or the outline of our star. Now let's take a look at some additional controls we have. We can control the rhinestone count and basically how many rhinestones we're using, which also uh, creates the spacing of the pattern. Right now we're at 0.19, but if we take that up, we can see it's going um, less rhinestones further apart. Right now we're all the way down to 40 rhinestones. Now there's no magic number here. If you notice the outline count, that's actually telling us how many rhinestones there are in the pattern. As I go down, the rhinestones get closer and closer and together and start to crowd. Now this is what you want to avoid. 
we're right now at 85 rhinestones. This particular design can't take 85 rhinestones. They start to bunch up together. So here are a couple things to watch out for. For one thing, you definitely need to make sure that your rhinestones are consistent throughout your pattern. Right now they are, but if I go one more down, they are not. These get too close together and they're not uh, consistent throughout the pattern. The other thing is, is that you can't cut too close together. So right here, these two are almost touching, and this is really gonna be pushing the borderline. So if it was me doing this design and I wanted a heavily populated rhinestone design, I'd probably go with a .19 at the max, which actually happened to be the default setting. If you wanted to be a little bit more cost effective, you can uh, take that down to, let's say, 50. Now, 50 is still gonna give you quite a bit of rhinestones, but you're using 10 less rhinestones for that pattern. This was the basic overview of how to create an outline pattern using the custom shape tool in the Blingit software. The next tutorial we're going to be covering is how to create a fill on the inside of the star.